You are watching The Randy and Krista Show. I'm Krista Arecchio. Randy Alvarez is out today. This is news that makes you healthier. And I am so excited because today we have a good friend of mine coming on to talk about a very serious health topic. Jordan Reisner is the co-founder of SCD Lifestyle, which is the specific carbohydrate diet lifestyle, which helps people heal from debilitating chronic digestive disorders. And he calls himself a health engineer. Today, we are talking about leaky gut syndrome. Jordan, welcome to the Randy and Krista show. Thank you so much, Krista. It's really a pleasure to be here. Oh, I'm super psyched. This is a really important topic, and uh, we love talking digestion together. So let's talk about leaky gut. And for our viewers, since this airs all over the place, a lot of people don't even know what that term is, leaky gut. Can you explain it in plain English for us? Right. There's so many misconceptions about it. And, and the word leaky gut sounds really scary, right? It's kind of this weird sounding thing. And what it comes down to is that we have a hollow tube going through our body. Mouth to anus, it really is a hollow tube inside of our bodies. And this tube is lined with a single layer of cells. And that layer of cells is meant to let the good stuff in, and that good stuff passes through those cells, things like nutrients from our food, for example. And it's meant to keep the bad stuff out, right? Like the toxins and the food particles we can't absorb and those types of things. They're supposed to stay outside of our body and then we get rid of them through bowel movements. So leaky gut is really this idea that we almost have a great wall of China, if you will, inside of our body. And it has doors in it and the soldiers, the good soldiers that are meant to go through the doors, that they're allowed to pass through, they're allowed to go into our bloodstream and it keeps the bad guys out. And leaky gut is this idea that our cells, they, they become leaky between them. So it's almost as if we were to blow a bunch of holes in the Great Wall of China and all of a sudden all the bad stuff can get in. And why that's really important to understand is because when these bad things get in, these, these toxins from bacteria, these environmental toxins, these food particles that are not meant to be in our body, when they get in and invade our body, they travel throughout the body and they end up in different places like our brain or our joints or our muscles or our thyroid, for example, and they travel to different parts of our body and uh, they begin the, the inflammatory response, the immune response. So our immune system begins to see these things and recognize that they shouldn't be there and can mount an attack. And that's why it's really important to understand what leaky gut is and how it can send bad stuff throughout your body in different areas. Yeah, I, and I agree with you completely. At the whole journey, I always say digestion is the cornerstone of your health and the center of the human universe. And so it's still a relatively new concept when we talk about mainstream medicine, allopathic medicine versus functional medicine, that di everything starts in the digestive system. And so you can't just... You can't just look at the thyroid, you can't just look at the immune system, you have to look at the body comprehensively. And so why do you think we call leaky gut the, the disease that doctors can't diagnose, right? It's not necessarily recognized in mainstream medicine. Right, and it's only become really prevalent in the last 20 years or so. And it's a tricky problem, it can masquerade, it can hide and manifest in different ways. And the idea is that the pain it causes really depends on where those bad things that leak into your body, where they end up and where your immune system starts to respond. So these toxins could end up anywhere in our system and, and kickstart this inflammatory process and kickstart this disease process. And each person's experience with it is very different. So it can be difficult for a practitioner to really understand which body system is being affected. Mm -hmm. It can manifest as pain in our joints. It can manifest as achiness. It can manifest as fatigue. Only 70% of people with leaky gut actually have digestive pain. So gas that, and bloating and diarrhea and constipation aren't necessarily a red flag for leaky gut. That's a great point of not chasing symptoms. I remember when I first started practicing a functional medicine doctor, he said to me, don't chase symptoms. You still have to test them for parasites or leaky gut, even if they're not presenting with digestive issues. So for you guys at home, if you've been suffering for a really long time, I want you to think that 
try to get a test for leaky gut and see if this might be the root of your problems. It's just like anything else, like we take care of our car and we take it in for regular tune-ups. It's important to make sure that wall that Jordan talks about is nice and thick so it can keep the bad stuff out and the good stuff in. That's, that's so important. Um, Jordan, I'm curious as to your take of how do we get leaky gut and I also want to know do you think that GMOs, genetically modified organisms, have had some, some major role to exacerbate them? And I want to hear some success stories, some client cases, because I know you got your life back by finding out you had celiac and healing your leaky gut. So run with it, my friend. Yeah, so when we looked at what causes leaky gut, we actually hired a research team to support us because there's over 11,000 papers on intestinal permeability right now, which is the technical term for leaky gut. So we hired a research team to help us with so much research. And there's 19 common triggers associated with leaky gut in the research. And I want to cover a couple of the most important. 19 so, triggers, you said, for leaky gut? 19 wow. okay. common triggers. You're going to give 19. our viewers a quiz, so Ray, we're going to talk about that at the end so that they can all take, see if they have these triggers and, and dive into it deeper. Isn't that right? So that they yes. can find out? Yes. Good. Exactly. Okay. So I want to cover some of the most important triggers of leaky gut that maybe can clear things up a little bit for people. So the first real common trigger is when we eat holes in our gut. And gluten, which I'm sure you've spent a lot of time talking about on this show, gluten is one of the most common triggers of intestinal permeability. So we can literally be eating holes in our gut. And the next one is that we can literally be taking medications that poke holes in our gut. So chronic NSAID use and chronic antibiotic use are both really common leaky gut triggers. And NSAID would be defined as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, so something like a ibuprofen is what Jordan yes. is talking about. And Mm -hmm. And how many of us for years, I know I did, take you know, uh, something like an NSAID for a headache. You know, I used to get two or three headaches a week and it was no big deal to just take something on a regular basis for that. So that in and of itself can cause leaky gut for people. And then the third really common thing is literally stressing holes in our gut. Mm -hmm. So chronic stress, whether it's emotional from work or bad relationship or overtraining, too much physical stressing on the body, mm -hmm. or chronic infections that can be stressing the body, and sleep deprivation. Yeah. Those things can really stress holes in our gut. Sure. Yeah, so we've got sleep deprivation, we've got high stress brought on by a myriad of factors, overuse of medication. I, I heard that one out of every two antibiotic prescriptions are unnecessary, so we've got about 55 million unnecessary antibiotic prescriptions a year in the States and uh, definitely eating our way to leaky gut. So that's a lot of factors against us that cause it. Thank you. And then how do we fix it? How do we fix it? Fixing leaky gut. So there's really three big important steps. One is to remove the leaky gut triggers. So stop making your gut leaky. And we just talked about three things that you can do to do that. And then step two is to start to rebuild the gut by eating real food, some supplement support, and then three, some lifestyle changes, which can be equally as important as changing our diet. So eating real food could be something like a paleo diet or what you recommended the whole journey, Krista. Those types of diets where we're removing the toxins, we're removing things that leak our gut, and we're starting to rebuild and heal. And then step three is to look for more root causes. So that would be things like adrenal fatigue, right? thyroid problems, hormonal issues, parasites, bacterial infections, those root causes that could be contributing to the leaky gut process in the first place. So those are really the three steps to follow if you're somebody who has leaky gut and you're trying to reverse that. It really starts in healing the gut. Okay. So we have to become our own best health detectives. What's the best test for leaky gut in your opinion? Mm. It's a really challenging thing. I think it's an art to test for leaky gut. And the, the most common out there is the lactulose breath test. What's that? Could you say that again? Labs. The lactulose breath test. The lactulose so breath we, test. So we have to take a solution of lactulose and then we blow into a tube and measure how many gases are coming out of our breath okay. for a two to three hour period. And a good practitioner can get you that test and, and be able to analyze the results. But there's always unreliability in those things. I think. The best practitioners out there know how to look at the whole body, 
look at the symptoms, look at the risk factors, and then also be able to, to give you a good assessment. And we've kind of done that for you. And Chris and I have put together this leaky gut quiz mm -hmm. that you can take that can help you find risk factors that are associated with leaky gut. And it's available at leakygutquiz.com. Leaky it's a nice and easy com. assessment for you to look at that, those things. Perfect. So the first step in improving your health anytime is to know where you are and have a good barometer. So take the leaky gut quiz. And then what about a success story? I mean, you, you literally saved yourself from death's door with having celiac disease, which is, for, for our viewers, celiac disease is, is a gluten sensitivity to the max, where when you eat gluten, it scars your intestines and damages the villi, which are the little hairs that absorb your nutrients and deliver them to your body. So, so give us a success story. I mean, you see how much leaky gut in your practice, and do you heal their leaky gut, and then people get their lives back, all of their issues go away, and they can live this completely different life that they otherwise would never be able to experience that kind of quality of life? I would say yes, and I personally experienced that with my celiac disease. I was so sick I had diarrhea 15 times a day. And we know that leaky gut is commonly the first step in autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. So anybody who struggles with autoimmune diseases like celiac or rheumatoid arthritis, for example, are going to be somebody who probably has a leaky gut. And I did. I had a really severe leaky gut. And as I healed my gut, I was able to calm down my immune system, reverse the symptoms of celiac disease. And I really feel like I'm in remission for what that means to me. Now, I can't eat gluten ever again. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But I feel very healthy very much in remission. I have perfect poops every day. <laughs> and That's I have important. seen the same type of transformation in a specific client I'm thinking of who had rheumatoid arthritis, debilitating rheumatoid arthritis, was on multiple medications. Mm -hmm. And she was only 45 years old. And she couldn't take care of her kids and, and lift them up and put them in the car seats very well because she was in so much pain. And she woke up with pain every single day. And by starting to, to follow those three steps, removing the triggers of leaky gut and then healing her gut through a uh, real food anti-inflammatory diet, um, some lifestyle changes, getting more sleep, reducing her stress, a little meditation, and then going after some root causes. She had a couple of GI infections. She had a parasite. She had small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Treating those root causes, mm -hmm. she was able to really heal her gut and the pain was gone and she was med free. Mm -hmm. And that's real. That's a real story and that can happen Mm -hmm. So many people out there who are struggling with these types of conditions. I know. It's a beautiful story. And I know that you and I see that every day in our practice. And it, that's the, it just gives me chills. That's why we're here. This is why we're doing this work is that people are suffering unnecessarily. And I, I love that story. And now she can be present for her kids. And that's what it's all about. And so you have a team of, you have a team of health practitioners working with you at, at SCD Lifestyle. And you work with all kinds of um, intense digestive disorders, right? So where can people go? Give us your website. Where can they go and how do they work with you? Because I know you work nationwide. Yes, thank you. We, we can provide functional medicine practitioners for people at scdlifestyle.com. And we're certainly happy to work with people there. And then Krista, you and I have put together this leaky gut assessment that people can get at leakygutquiz.com if you're interested in finding out whether or not you do have leaky gut and if that's a problem for you. So in those two places, you can come work with me more, find out more about leaky gut, find out more about healing your gut, and seeing if this is really a, an issue for you. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here and for the good work that you do in the world. You're a wonderful person, and we will send everybody to leakygutquiz.com to find out if they have leaky gut. Thanks Thank for you being so here. Much, Chris. So that was Jordan Reasoner. I hope that you enjoyed hearing from him. He's, he's very humble. They have worked with thousands and thousands and thousands of people to help get their lives back. And so my takeaway message from this is that digestion is the center of the human universe and that you really have to, to take good care of it and find out ways to consistently build that wall and build your good gut flora and bacteria because once you remove the offenders, you have to go ahead and add back the good stuff so that everything else functions well. So thanks for being here. You are watching The Randy and Krista Show, and we wish you good health.